The vice president says it's okay if the president gives her the boot, but while it hasn't happened yet, she says she will be continuing with her duties as ICAD co-chairperson. She also clarified that she's not in talks with human rights advocate Philim Kine, whose earlier tweet to the VP irked the chief executive. Pat Mangune tells us more. President Duterte clarifies that despite his lack of trust in the vice president, Robredo gets to keep her position at the ICAD since she was lawfully designated to it. I invited her to the ICAD for a joint management. She has the power because the office says that it was created lawfully. Recall that on Tuesday, the chief executive threatened to fire Robredo from the Interagency Committee on Anti-Illegal Drugs. But the vice president said, unless she is explicitly told to get out, she will continue working as co-chair of the agency. Kung ayaw niya na, kung nagkamali siya sa pag-appoint sa akin at gusto niyang bawiin, sabihin lang. Uh, kasi ako madali akong kausap, pero habang, habang merong ina-expect sa akin na trabaho, gagawin ko yun. The mere fact na binigyan ako ng trabaho, gagawin ko... Uh, na buong puso. Um, yung, yung sa akin lang, mahirap, mahirap na hindi ka tinitiwalaan. Duterte cited Robredo's missteps, especially in her first few days at the agency. In a speech last night, the president explained that Robredo was given the freedom to dictate the direction of the country's war against drugs. Duterte says he just doesn't understand why Robredo is so keen on seeking foreign help on the anti-drug campaign. The day after I ordered the police to give way to her being a co-chairman, she started to say, I'm going to talk to the EU, I'm going to talk to the Human Rights Commission. As a matter of fact, I have invited the prosecutor of the Human Rights Commission. But Robredo says consulting foreign entities is a practice long observed by the country's officials. The ICAD co-chairperson also denied reports that she is wooing the UN prosecutor of the Commission on Human Rights to meddle in the country's drug war. She urged the president not to believe in fake news. President Duterte seems to have mistaken Philem Kine, a human rights advocate, for an international criminal court prosecutor. Kine, former Human Rights Watch Asia head, tweeted Robredo on November 11, recommending the arrest of Duterte and his supporters for allegedly instigating mass murder. In response, Duterte threatened to slap Kine for his remark. I think the human rights guy said, I'm packed and I'm ready to go there to arrest Duterte. You, 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 it's, it, it's an insult actually. Robredo already clarified that Kine's offer for help was unsolicited. She added she's not in talks with a human rights advocate. For News 5, Patricia Mangune, We Are One News.